It was two weeks ago today that a deadly bus crash in Bastrop County garnered a national spotlight, and now the first lawsuit over that case has been filed here in the Bastrop County Court. One of the pre-K teachers on that bus is suing the concrete truck driver involved in his company. With criminal charges already filed against him, Jerry Hernandez now faces a civil lawsuit for that deadly bus crash two weeks ago that killed five-year-old Ulysses Rodriguez Montoya and 33-year-old Ryan Wallace. One of the pre-kindergarten teachers on that bus, Deborah Serna, is now suing Hernandez and the truck company employing him, FJM Concrete, seeking a million dollars in damages. Sean Breen is Serna's attorney. I hope we take this as a lesson here in Central Texas that companies need to clean things up. They need to make sure that when they hire people, they hire the right people, not people that are patently unqualified. Police reports reveal Hernandez admitted to smoking marijuana and using cocaine the night before and morning of the crash. He also has a criminal record dating back to 2006, which includes an arrest for driving with a suspended license and an assault charge last year. We reached out to FJM Concrete's lawyers for comment or an interview, but we did not hear back. Within that lawsuit, the plaintiffs write, this is a textbook example of how evil, depraved negligence can wreak havoc and destruction on the best and most innocent in our world. In a statement, Hayes CISD says the crash is a life-taking and life-changing catastrophe, and it is the district's fervent hope that all of the victims can be made as whole as possible through both criminal and civil processes that are unfolding. One topic that's not in the lawsuit, the lack of seatbelts inside that bus, though Cerna's lawyer does say that's a problem. One of the things that might be considered is, is there an age limit uh, to when seatbelts are re required on a bus as opposed to the other? Would there be a, a need to have a number of attendants on a bus with the smaller children to keep them seat belted in? Hernandez now faces criminal charges of criminally negligent homicide, and federal transportation officials have ordered him not to operate any motor vehicles. The legal fallout over this incident appears here to stay. Notedly in their statement, Hayes CISD says they, they believe this is just the first lawsuit that's going to be filed over this crash. In Bastrop County, Michael Atkinson, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.